Greetings, my little yarnivores. Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. And today I'm going to show you how to create what I have dubbed a spool knit chain link scarf, which could also be a shawl, a blanket, a what have you. You know, there are many options open. Now, Recently, I did a tutorial on how to do spool knitting, which I'll put in the description below. And I thought to myself, there has to be applications that can be used. And so I did a little brainstorming and I came up with this. Uh, in my past experience, I've done, <clears throat> excuse me, I have done chainmail jewelry and I thought, hmm, why not with yarn? <laughs> so without further ado, I'm going to show you how I came up with this. Alrighty? Okie dokie. Be right back. Okie dokie. So now to begin with, what you're going to need is to do some spool knitting, which I've already done. Uh, again, you can check out the previous video on how to actually do the setup and how to actually do the knitting. Um, this is more of a, oh, it's a project. <laughs> so what you want to do is enough spool knitting so that the tail end comes just below the opening here. And I have measured it out to be a, just a smidgen over four inches. And then after you reach that length, now keep in mind, this does stretch. So as you are doing your spool knitting, you know, stretch it out a bit. And then if it's just a little bit past the bottom there, you're good to go. And that'll be about four inches. And then you do your cast off and then we do the linking. Now, what I figured upon was the pattern that I just showed you. However, there are lots of variations and there's a lot that you can do with colors. And this is a great stash busting project because you don't have to use a specific color palette and each one of these links takes just a hair over seven feet of yarn to make one of these links, which really isn't that much in the grand scheme. So we have a link. So basically what it amounts to is making more links and more links and more links. And this is actually what I was practicing with to see, will this actually work? Sure enough, it does, as you can see. <laughs> so basically, it's just a matter of threading and then going through one of your links here and then connecting it to itself. It's really as easy as that. And basically, you're just going through two of the loops on this side pulling it taut and then going through two of the loops on the other side and then going back through two of the loops on this side and back and forth until it's nice and secure. <clears throat> and it's as easy as that really. And this is an ultimate portable project because you don't necessarily have to take all of this with you. No, you can just do all of these lengths on the go in the doctor's office, waiting online, etc., etc. It's extremely portable, which I absolutely love. You don't have a lot of stuff to carry around with you. Um, and okay, so that's nice and secure. And then all you have to do is knot it and then sew in the ends. Just uh, going through the, uh, the tube, basically. And there you go. And like I said, you can be all color coordinated like I've done with this example here. Now, there are ways of doing variations. For instance, you could do this format, just continue on in a rectangular length, and you could create a scarf, or you could make it a little bit wider, and you could do, you know, perhaps a, a wrap, or you could go in a triangular fashion, and you could quite conceivably do a shawl, 
totally up to you. Uh, I just wanted to do this as a bit of, you know, bit of an example for you. Totally up to you uh, as far as colors. Uh, it's almost like Tinker Toys in a way. Um, yes, I'm dating myself a bit here, but hey. <laughs> um, so listen, I really hope that you liked this little how-to as much as I enjoyed doing it. And this was really, really quick because I just started this um, you know, a couple of hours ago and the links themselves, as you can see, they really don't take that long. And the construction, it's a lot of fun, all right? Now just keep in mind though, that for this one piece that I did here, it was a total of nine dark red ones, okay? And then it was six orange ones and six yellow ones. So it adds up fast as far as how many you need, especially if you wish to do, um, you know, quite a few of these. Um, but it does have a lot of stretch to it. You know, it's very airy, it's very open, um, and it's very squishy. Oh, and it's so much fun. And of course, you could always do all of that in gray and really go for the whole chainmail look. Um, it's just, it's just so much fun. And like I said, it's a great stash buster and I'm rambling, so I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> so listen, if you like the video, please hit like. If you have any questions or comments, do so down below. I love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I always like to help if I can. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. You know, if you wanna see more videos, um, you know, stay tuned. I've got lots more ideas on the way and I'll catch you in the next video. You have a great, great day and stay inspired, stay caffeinated, and above all, stay stitching. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye for now.